Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Raymond Arity, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Bully. So, yeah, the last episode was definitely a whopper, and I didn't have any special Burger King coupons for it. But now it's uh, time for English, and I look, look through the Bully manual that you get when you get the game on PS4, and I double-checked online the PS2 version to make sure that everything was intact. Uh... Every single class in the game and all the clicks have descriptions in the manual, so I'll read out the one for English as this class is going on. We expect all of our students to be able to spell to some extent before they leave us. Mastery of the English language is highly impotent in the world of business. Yeah, these are all written from the perspective of Dr. Ralph Crabblesnitch, who is the principal of the school. And they're all rather humorous, and for every single class that I do in a future episode of this Let's Play, I'm going to read out uh, one of these descriptions. I will read out one for gym or shop or photography, for whatever ones I'm really in. And now I've got the ability to apologize to prefects for small crimes, which is good, that's a good thing. But, and, uh, but unfortunately I have to say, uh, unlike Grand Theft Auto 3, where each area of the map had a humorous and accurate description, uh, Bully doesn't have that, so there are no descriptions for Bullworth Academy or Bullworth Town or Old Bullworth Vale or the new year area, the newest area that opened up on the map. So instead I shall read out what Dr. Crabblesnitch has to say about each of the four main cliques of Bullworth Academy. First up, the nerds. While I can't complain about their academic prowess, I can certainly berate them heavily for their entire lack of interest in sporting pursuits. They seem to spend altogether far too much time in the library. I'm also beginning to get a little suspicious about the increase in confiscated stink bombs since I have allowed chemistry sets into their door room the dorm rooms. Then the preppies. We have a long tradition of taking children from this country's financial elite who like to send their kids away so they can get some peace and quiet at home. Only the wealthiest families can secure a place for their child at the palatial Harrington House where these spoiled cherubs are usually to be found. Then the jocks. These stout fellows are not shy of getting a bruised and dirty for the sake of the school's honor. They are also very keen on taking part in the whole range of school sports. With incredible dedication to their teams, they can usually be hard at practice on the school's sports fields. And finally, the click that we're gonna work for now, which we just met up with and we're gonna meet up with whoever Johnny Vincent is, the Greasers. To be honest, this is the group of students I dislike most at Bullworth. Basically, they look like a bunch of thugs and I suspect they aspire to be like criminals, or criminal types. However, they do spend a lot of time in the auto shop, and I admire their willingness to try and fix the school boilers whenever they break down. So I might have paraphrased a bit here, but it was just to make it like sound, I guess, more professional. And also, because like it's kind of hard to do this. I hadn't writ haven't written a script for a video in a long time, so it's my first time doing that again. And also, I'm trying to make sure I get it within the video length. But now, since I got them all, it's time for the first mission in New Coventry. We get to meet jealous Johnny Vincent. So you came? Yup. I bet you think I'm funny, don't you? A laughing stock? Not really. I mean, you dress a little weird, but... Yeah, and everyone is laughing at me. All of you, at me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had what her? What are you doing? Who? Lola! That slut! That slut I love. No, man! She's cheating on me, man. I know she is. The little slut. Oh, it's killing me. Me, dying over abroad. Oh, man, I knew this was coming. What are you talking about? She's with that rich kid, Gord. I know she is. How do you know? Will you find out for me? I can't take the suspense. Look, meet me at the underpass near New Coventry tonight. We'll get evidence. Bring a camera, and then we'll settle this. 
once and for all. Right, so I have to take pictures of Lola kissing, holding hands, and getting gifts from Gord. So, yeah, Gord, this is the exact same Gord who stole Jimmy's uh, bike race trophy in the previous episode in the Mission Beach Rumble. So we have to take photos of him and uh, Lola doing all this romantic stuff. I haven't used my camera since the first time I did photography class, but honestly, I don't think... Actually, you know, I don't think I'll show that one. In fact, I might actually like during my next recording session or whatever or before my next recording session i might just do a bunch of stuff like do all the rest of my classes off screen so i can have all the bonuses and i might tell you about all them and then actually i'll, I'll tell you the descriptions of of the classes and that so i have to make sure that not only do i get the pictures but i also um but i also uh you know don't go too close to them how is that a bad photo? That's actually a decent shot. That is a decent shot. I guess this is good, but I'm uh, oh, I, I'm slow. You. How how you say? It? Yeah, I'm boy. slow. But luckily, I'm able to walk around with this. But oh, I've got one photo out of uh, three I need. Okay, uh, right, that's two uh, apparently. And they've seen us. me. My god, I have to get away right now and make sure that, uh... So I have to make sure that they don't catch me and all that and, uh, I don't fail the mission. I need to get that one last photo, though. This is so irritating. This mission's actually pretty hard, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Luckily, I have uh, all the descriptions and all that, so... I know what to do, actually, in each of the classes, because... I, there's, I could just do what other Let's Players do, uh, and, like, look up guides while recording the videos, and actually play the thing. Oh yeah, by the way, that pharmacy there, that actually has the Rockstar Games logo on it, and all red, you can see there. Yep, that's the Rockstar Games logo that they put in as an Easter egg. Pretty good one, to be honest. There's plenty of Easter eggs. In fact, actually, there were two cars in the shop class. One of them is the Diablo Stallion from GTA 3. The other is the Regina from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I believe. That's the that'll be the one like higher up in the in the room. So I gotta get now a picture of Gord and Lola uh, holding hands. Oh wait, no, not holding hands. Uh, giving gifts. Uh, so, I gotta make sure I get that, and then I have to go back to Johnny Vincent, oh, and I think, you. hold on, what the, I keep getting You're bad foes, I don't know what's going on. Ugh, I don't know how I'm getting such bad shots, even though I'm doing everything possible. Oh, okay, so, right, uh, that's more kissing, I think. I don't know, uh, right. yeah, just gotta keep on heading up, come on, right, um, yeah, so, okay, they're still going on, oh yeah, you can only see out black and white, um, oh yeah, and it's, by the way, it is near Christmas, as you can see by the Christmas tree and the decorations and everything in the school and all that, yeah, we're pretty close to Christmas time now. And, um, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, in fact, you'll see something in a, in a future episode about that. But, but now, I've got to return to Johnny. Walk past the Rockstar Games, uh, uh pharmacy. <laughs> Go past the, uh, closed movie theater, because it's nighttime. Get back to Johnny, and before you know it, the mission's over. I've got the photos, and, uh, okay, just gotta... Wait a minute, get off the bike, and, uh... Yeah, this, this is, uh... I don't think that's meant to happen. I think it's it's it pictures, was a Johnny. bit glitched. Lola's a bit of a yeah. slut, it seems. I knew it. I just hmm, knew yeah, it. Lola does seem to be a little bit of a slut. And yeah, new Coventry doesn't look nice. I got respect from the greasers, and that guy just stole my fucking bike. Oh my god, what an absolute prick! And done. better get a get better get it back. Uh, unfortunately. Since Jimmy is 15 or maybe 16 years old by this point in the story, he cannot drive, and I've lost my bike. Ugh. Yep. I'm gonna have to go back on my skateboard, which actually controls worse now that there's snow. I can't get up onto curbs because of how much of it there's. Look, I just bounce off it. Just, just It just makes it completely worthless. Oh, look, there's a guy on a bike. 
If you want to, if you guys want to see me help Johnny Vincent some more getting back Lola, I'd love it if you all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, please hit the notification bell so you always know when I upload a brand new video, put a comment in the comment section down below to let me know what you thought of the video and tell me what you thought of the uh, manual description of English class and the different clicks in the school. Follow me on Twitch to see me live stream sometime so I can play CSGO and Team Fortress 2 and maybe Dota 2 or whatever I want to play. And if you ever want to be in any of them live streams, send me a friend request on Steam and I'll play with you. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of my Let's Play of Bully!